Hey guys, so a while back we made a video on sandboxing, which is a free sandboxing program for Windows. So sandboxing is, is, is essentially sort of like a security program that basically only allows programs to access a small part of your computer. So in theory, let's say you download a file from the internet and it has a virus, then the virus basically cannot spread to the rest of your computer and you can basically deal with the virus more easily, right? Rather than the virus spreading to your entire system and, you know, getting access to sensitive information as well as, you know, basically getting um, the entire access to the entire system, right? So in this video, I want to show you guys another sandboxing program that is also free and I think it's a bit easier to use as well. And the reason why is because sandboxing is still pretty popular. However, there have been increasing bugs and I've personally faced a lot of problems with them too, as well as a bunch of you guys have been also letting me know that, you know, sandboxing isn't working as the way it should. So in this video, I want, I want to show you another program. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so now that we are on the computer, we can go ahead and get started with actually getting the Sandbox program installed. So the Sandbox program is called Shade Sandbox and we can access it at shadesandbox.com. And once we go on the website, you guys will notice that it isn't, uh, it's loading, it isn't the most uh, visually appealing and it does seem a bit, you know, like a scam, but it is pretty re reliable and there are many online reviews on this. So what you want to do is you want to click the download trial button and the download trial button basically installs the home edition of the program which is basically all you needed for personal use there is a commercial um, version available for businesses but that is paid so we can essentially just make use of most of the features um, of the sandbox so um, for me it didn't start downloading automatically so I may have to click this thing right here that says click here to start the download right and yeah that's basically going to download so i'm going to go ahead and pause it because i already have it downloaded but uh just to make sure um at the end of the install it'll sort of tell you that you know you have to restart the computer to basically get the uh, program up and running so you can basically choose to restart the computer right there and then to get the program running right after or you can basically whenever you restart your computer then you'll be able to access the shade sandbox so now that we have that open let's go ahead and close chrome Oh, continue downloading. No, I'm gonna cancel that. So let's go ahead and open up Shade. So when you open up Shade, it's gonna look something like this. Um, actually, it's gonna ask you to click on this left button right here, Shade Sandbox. Just click that and then it'll show up everything. And how the program works is it's a pretty minimal program. All you need to do is just drag on, you know, like Chrome browser. And once you have the browser open, then once it's in here, then you can basically go ahead and double click on it and the browser has opened right so now that the browser has opened uh, let me show you guys so i'm actually move the shade browser a bit to the side because i cannot minimize it but as you guys can see i have the shade browser open and basically gives this sort of purple-ish sort of accent around and that basically indicates that this is a shade browser right so this is within the sandbox and that's basically the visual indication or else it's pretty hard to tell whether or not you're in the sandbox and from here, you can basically do the regular stuff like go on Google or whatever you want to do and download stuff. And it's going to download right onto that sort of uh, sandbox folder. And you can basically check out the sandbox folder. If, if you guys are just checking right here, the op open virtual folder, you can basically click that and it'll basically have all the files within this open virtual box, right? And you can actually have... You can go ahead and close this, but it's, it's still going to have the shade sandbox open. It basically just minimized in the system tray, which is right here on the bottom. So with that being said, guys, that has basically been it. It's basically the overview of this sort of um, shade sandbox program. And definitely let me, know, uh, let me know if you guys are experiencing any issues with this sandbox program as well, or any questions you guys have that I'll answer down in the comment section below. But with that being said, that's been it for this video. Peace.